Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am going to do an unboxing of Seagate One Touch 5 terabyte external hard disk and then I'll do a quick review of the read and write speed that this hard disk has to offer us. So let's start with the unboxing part. Let me just quickly open up the package. I ordered this external hard disk from Amazon. You might have guessed it by now. All right, then we have this box Seagate One Touch 5 terabyte external hard disk. It's a portable storage with password protection and high capacity backup made easy. All right. Then you can see we have this free one year subscription of Mylio Create software. It is actually a photo organizer software which is being offered as a complimentary gift by Seagate. Alright, then on the top we have 5 terabyte hard disk and it comes with data recovery services. Now let me turn it around. It is compatible with most Windows and Mac operating systems. And then we have the compatibility logo for Windows and Mac. Small drive, massive storage with password for Windows and Mac. Then the same thing is written in different languages. Alright, let me turn it around again and then we have some technical details like the part number which is SDKZ5000403 Then the generic name is one touch hard disk drive 5 terabyte and the MRP in Indian rupees is 12,999 and uh, I got this hard disk at a price of 9,199 from Amazon and the month and year of manufacturing is May 2022 and it was imported in June 2022 that means the product that I'm holding is pretty new then there are some of the details of the importer as well as you can see it's made in China as most of the electronics are then on the bottom we have Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan and uh, Seagate is offering 4 months of membership and we have to redeem it within one year of the drive registration. At the bottom, we have one touch, five terabyte assembled in Thailand and the product of China. It's sealed packed, as you can see. Now, let me just open the seal and take out the hard disk. All right, we have some instruction manuals. The first one is secure code SID and then we have our reset code. The SID or the secure code will be used for enabling the security and the PSID or the reset code will be used to reset the drive. Anyways, I'll just keep it aside. Then the second one is Mylio Create. This is the photo organizer software that I was talking about. Then here we have the instructions how to redeem your Mylio software when you register your product. That is, you have to connect your drive with your computer, whether it's a MacBook or it's a Windows PC. Just connect your drive and then click on start here link. Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan. Then inside we have the details how to redeem the subscription. You can very easily edit, organize, store or share your full resolution photographs. Then we have quick start guide of our Seagate external hard disk. So it simply says we have to take out our usb 3 a to micro b cable and then we have to connect it to our computer and then we have to open our drive and then we have to click on start here mac or start here windows link so it's saying the same thing 
and uh, also it's asking us to download and install toolkit software to create a password for our drive which can be used to protect our data and uh, to protect your data always follow the safe removal procedures for your operating system when disconnecting your product i hope you know it we have to safely eject our device before unplugging it that's the safe way to disconnect our device without corrupting the data which is inside the drive anyways i'll just keep this aside and then let me take out the drive so first of all we have this usb 3 cable which is a to micro b type and then we have our portable hard disk you can get it in many other colors i chose red color because previously i was having a hard disk of blue color so i just wanted to go for a new color so i have chosen this you can go with your choice you can order the color that you like And then at the back we have some specification like the part number, the serial numbers. Alright, at the top we have the USB micro B port. Let me compare it with my Seagate Backup Plus portable drive, which is of 2 terabyte disk storage. So that means I'm just keeping side by side a drive which is of 2 terabyte versus a drive which is of 5 terabyte. So let's see the difference here. You can see the drive with 5 terabyte is like twice as much thick as the 2 terabyte hard disk. And also it's bigger in length. You can compare the width of both of the devices. It's almost twice the size of 2 terabyte and uh, according to the Seagate official website the 2 terabyte backup plus Seagate portable drive is 159 gram while the 5 terabyte one touch portable drive weights 268 gram which means it is like twice as much as heavy as the blue one just to explain you the size of this device i'm going to keep it next to my phone that is iphone 13 pro so you can see how big this device is And also as a comparison you can see how much width this 5 terabyte hard disk is having as compared to my iPhone 13 Pro. Anyways then let's get ahead and let me plug this device into my computer. So I'll just take out the cable and it's a usb 3 cable so make sure you insert it into usb 3 port of your computer if all the ports in your computer is usb 3 then you do not have to worry about it but in case if your computer comes with usb 2 and usb 1 then it's better to plug it in usb 3 to achieve the maximum potential or the maximum speed that this hard disk has to offer and uh, after plugging it in my device has been detected so i will just switch the camera to show the view of my computer so i'll just open my pc and uh, here i have this one touch device 
let me just right click on it and then properties and uh, you can observe that it is a 5 terabyte hard disk but it offers 4.54 terabyte of space which is approximately 4657 GB let's open the drive now we have all these files here first two are for the macbook let's open warranty so seagate offers limited warranty if you want you can pause the video and uh, have a look at what this limited warranty is and it's going to answer the questions like what does this limited warranty cover how long does the coverage last and uh, what does this limited warranty not cover and then i'll just close this and start with start here when it's an application just double click on it and if you get this error while trying to launch the installation then i'll just suggest you to right click on the application and then click on run as administrator and the installation is going to begin so it has opened one link in the browser where it is asking us to register our device so i'll just register my device put your name and then email we have to tick on terms and conditions and privacy statement and i'm going to let this optional offers be unticked because I don't want Seagate to send me any occasional promotional offers. I just hate the spam emails. Alright, then click on register. Then we have this secure your drive. Get the most out of your storage solution with Toolkit. Toolkit is one application which is being provided by Seagate free of cost. And it's going to help us in organizing or making a backup or restoring our data. So I'll just start the download. Then I'll click on next. Then this is for the Mylio software. If you want to install it, you can click on get Mylio and the installation is going to start. But I don't want to install this. So, so I'll just click on skip. So that means I have successfully registered my drive. I have downloaded toolkit if you want you can click on these links and see what Seagate has to offer anyways I'll just start with the installation of the toolkit now it's installing all right now it is asking us to create a password reset key in case we forget the password that we have set on our drive all right then i'll just click on okay then welcome all right so we have these options in the toolkit software first one is seagate secure so using this option we can secure our drive by setting up a password which i won't do now so i'll just click on back button and then the restore is to restore the data which is in the backup in our drive then in mirror we can create folders on our computer as well as the drive and they both will be the mirrors of each other which means whatever data we keep in those selected folders will be copied and saved in our drive as well so it will be a mirror data let's try to have some fun with the drive i'll try to copy one video to the drive and see how much time it takes to write on the drive as well as to read from the drive so this video is of 1.27 gigabyte that is 1.27 gb so i'll just try to copy it to the drive and we'll see how much time it takes for the write action and you can see the speed is pretty good it is crossing 90 megabyte per second
and finally it has taken 14 seconds to copy 1.27 GB from my local hard disk to the external hard disk now I'll try to copy the same from my external hard disk to my internal hard disk let's see how much time it takes for the read action the previous one was the write action since we were writing some data to the portable hard disk now we are reading the data from the portable hard disk and we are going to write it on the internal hard disk so it's a write operation for the internal hard disk but it's a read operation for our seagate external or portable hard disk and here we were crossing the speed of 1 gb per second and it took like 5 seconds to copy 1.27 gb from the external hard disk to my internal hard disk so that was pretty fast and if you want to know the exact speed for read and write i can just run this crystal disk mark software so the first one is the test count i'll let it be 5 then the test size be 512 megabyte and uh, i want to have a mix of read and write let's run the test so you can see that we had a maximum of 156 MB per second read speed and a maximum of 153 MB per second as the write speed and it was a sequential read and write. When it comes for a mix of read and write, the speed was 28 megabyte per second. Then after that, I'll do the same for my internal hard disk as well as the internal SSD that is on my computer. This is just to give you a small competitive data among these three drives which can help you understand the speed which is being offered by this Seagate OneTouch external hard disk and then you can make your decision accordingly. This is all for this video. I hope you liked the quick review of this Seagate external hard disk. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and thanks for watching.